Hello! This week, a change to our advertised programming. Yes, um, I had a different video lined up, but I was sent some uh, Chinese delicacies uh, from Germany, I think inexplicably, so I thought I'd better eat them before they go out of date, assuming they're not out of date already. It's very hard to tell when the first of said foodstuffs is an egg that's been shrink-wrapped. And I know nothing more about it, because I don't understand a word of the packaging, and I don't know anybody who does. Um, yeah, it says mentioned something about shelf life, but also no details. And it cost 1.8 somethings. I've got no idea what. Hmm, is it, what could go wrong with a shrink wrapped egg, eh? Answer an awful lot, including the death of whoever eats it, which in this case is going to be me, so let's hope not. God, I hope it's not one of those. What are those things? A thousand year eggs, or something they call them, which, um,. Oh, they, it's one of these weird delicacies where they let an egg sort of fester over a long period of time until it turns into a black mass, and, you know, it's supposedly a delicacy, but it's got about a 50-50 chance of uh, killing you when you eat it. Let's hope it's not one of those. I'm sure it's not. That would be ridiculous. Let's get our small plate, which I suspect is actually a saucer. Cut this open. And, yes, yeah, so I just noticed, actually, that there's numbers on the outside uh, along there. I wonder if that is... Um, some way of measuring when it's going to go off. I don't know. I'm not going to look. I'm sure it's still fresh. Maybe. Right, um... Come in. Has it still got the shell on it? I don't know. It looks suspiciously dark inside, actually. A little bit worried about this already. Right, break. Ah, there. Oh dear. Ugh. Ugh. Do not want. It's got kind of a... Yeah, is it supposed to look like that? What does it smell like? It smells of... <laughs> it smells of dog! Slightly damp dog. Fantastic! Right, let's tuck in. What's the yolk like? No, that's not the yolk, the white. The other bit. This bit. What's that like? No. Yeah, that's acidic. Salty. Deeply unpleasant. Tastes like something you should not be eating. This means we've got to try the grey bit now. I'm going to try a very small amount of this grey bit, lest I chunder everywhere, I think. Oh, gee. Oh, ho! Oh, ho, ho! Yeah. Oh, wow. That is genuinely one of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. Oh, the white you can sort of handle, but the... Uh, oh, good God. Yeah, and that just tastes of rot. It tastes like something you've found behind a cupboard. Perhaps that's what this is, the found behind a cupboard egg company. I've got no idea. Oh dear. We're off to a very bad start with these. I don't know, I'm not having any more of that. Um, don't worry, I've got one that looks like a scotch egg. So, um, it's all pretty hard. Hopefully this is just something bread crumbed and not. I didn't notice the picture of it. It does look worryingly like a thousand year egg. It's all sort of black and ugh. Surely not. Oh man, I don't even know if I want to cut this one open after the last. Go on then. Oh, that's not breadcrumbs, that's... I don't know, wood shavings? What's this smell of? Oh! Oh, oh God! <laughs> it absolutely reeks of wet dog. I mean, like five times the potency of that one. I haven't even opened this one up yet. Oh dear, this stuff is popular. Where? Oh, dearie me. Right. Hang on. Holy shit, I think this actually is a thousand year egg. The smell is quite unbelievable. The yolk has gone black. The uh, little chicken that never was has turned into a lump of rot. The outside of the shell, yeah, is coated with something. Bloody hell, I genuinely didn't expect to see something like that. Um, I, uh, hmm, I'm putting off trying it now. Go on then. I'm going to do this thing, do this thing properly. I'll probably never get another opportunity to uh, experience this, and I don't think that will necessarily be a bad thing. It's amazingly glutinous. It's basically jelly and rot, isn't it? Um, right, that will do. That's as much as is going in the mouth. Well, focus then. Mmm. Mmm. Are you hungry now? I bet if you're eating, you're not anymore. Here goes. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. We'll be back after this. I'm 
back. Some time has passed. <laughs> um, yeah, that really wasn't good. Um, I, I, I can only say it, it's weird. When it goes in your mouth and you taste it, you get this kind of every synapse in your brain screaming that what you've just put in your mouth should not be in your mouth for various reasons. Yeah, that was astonishingly bad. That was by far the worst thing I've tasted in my life, ever. By a considerable margin, it's just astonishing. I never thought... I honestly thought these thousand-year egg things were like one of these semi-legendary um, delicacies that hardly exist. I don't think somebody had sent me a fucking shrink-wrapped one. God, please don't send me any more, because they will not be eaten. Um, blimey. Right. Let's move swiftly on, shall we? <laughs> um, i tell you what, actually. Let's have another jump cut while I go and get another fork. Clean fork. Blimey. Well, there we are. I was trying to think, actually, are they called thousand-year eggs or hundred-year eggs or century eggs or something like that? Maybe they're called all these things. Maybe they're called million-year eggs. Maybe they should just be called fucking poison, which is essentially what they are. Thanks for sending that to me. I must find the covering letter that came in that box so I can track down who sent it and eliminate them like Liam Neeson in Taken. Right, anyway, that's the hors d'oeuvres. Now time for the meat! Literally, sunshine foods. I could do with some fucking sunshine after that. With this remarkably really nice looking skewered meat with sauce and sesame seeds on. And it's produce in quality, so you know it's gotta be good. Unfortunately, you then look at the back and somebody just appears to have shrink wrapped some dog shit. Um, never mind. Let's cut it open. I'll tell you what, let's try cutting it open again and actually getting it open this time. <laughs> I cut above the line. Oh my goodness, hang on. This has actually got writing in English, I didn't realise. Product name, Tasty Rabbit Meat. Oh good, we're going to eat Bugs Bunny. That'll teach him for dressing up like a woman and confusing us when we were young. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's... And people have a go at McDonald's for how their burgers don't look as good as they do in the advert pictures. Spot the frickin' difference. Right. <clears throat> I think you can rip this one. Yep, yeah, there we go. <sighs> Tasty rabbit meat. Hopefully not rabbit droppings. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. It's knobbly. It's bobbly. It makes your tummy a bit wobbly. Right, what's this like then, apart from rock bloody hard? Mm. Ah. Mm, it's very dry. Um... It's like somebody was trying to make beef jerky out of rabbit and gave up halfway through. It's very greasy. Actually, very greasy. Tastes... Mm, it's a sort of vaguely meaty undercurrent taste, but the um, it's a very spicy sauce and it's sort of overtaking it. That's not that unpleasant. It's not particularly nice, I've got to say. I'm not going to have any more, I don't think. But um, obviously, as compared to egg of rot here, that's <laughs> the finest delicacy that has ever been given. I must say, my stomach's not too good after the egg, actually. Um, the weird thing is, didn't really eat any of it. It just kind of... I couldn't spit it out either. It kind of disintegrated in the mouth, like something that shouldn't be eaten by humans. Well, that was good. <clears throat> now time for a miscellaneous snack. Yep, no idea what these are. But they're things in a bag. <laughs> what more could you want? Um, yeah, twisted bag things. There's 280 grams of them, whatever they are. Oh man, this is going to be good. What do they smell of? Bread. This is rather unexpected. Um, perhaps they are bread twists. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, they're like a knotted up um, thing of stuff. Well, let's have a nibble on that. Hmm, uh, a rock hard. Very dry. Quite sweet. They are some sort of baked thing, hence why they smell of bread. Mm. No, I can't see those catching on over here, they're so dry. Not unpleasant, um, quite nice actually, yeah, sort of slight sweetness to them. Um, it's weird, like a, it tastes like a softer cake than it actually is, if that makes sense. Hmm, I'm sorry, just poking the lens with it there. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I might actually eat the rest of those at some point. But not that one, because that's been dangerously close to the egg now. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, 
we've reached that point where I realise that nothing could possibly be as bad as that egg. So what's coming next? Answer something not from China. This was sent by somebody else. Japanese style peanut, uh, mochi, mochi, windowsill, hip lib lib. Yeah, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, these look quite nice. What are they in exact? They are glutinous rice balls with peanut paste filling. After that egg, bring it on. I'm sure these will actually be quite nice. Oh no, I shouldn't say that. That's sort of uh, setting myself up for a fool, isn't it? Oh, I like the packaging. It looks like an old window. Come on, open up. Oh, blimey. They're really keen on keeping things um, secure, aren't they? Oh, look. They're like little things. Little cupcake things. Oh. Yeah, well, then, what are these like? Bloody hell, they are glutinous. Bloody hell. Christ almost. <laughs> If you were to look up glutinous in the dictionary, there would be a written explanation of what the word glutinous means. That's how dictionaries work. You don't see pictures of things. Um, mm, no, I'm not liking these at all, actually. The peanut stuff in it isn't as sweet as um, sort of the peanut butter you get here in America. And the glutinousness is amazingly glutinous. I think these may actually be denser than a collapsed star, in fact. One of these will feed a family of four for a week. Mm. Now the, the sort of rice part has a slightly odd sweet taste, but it's not unpleasant, but it's not particularly nice either. No, not sold on those. Favourite thing so far? The twists. Least favourite thing so far? Use your imagination. Um, for dessert, how about something that looks fairly standard? Some nice ultra-processed Western food. Gummy candy, sweet and fun pizza. Mm -mm, sweet and fun. We've all seen things like this, but I'll admit that I haven't seen one before that was apparently made by somebody who's never seen a freaking pizza. In fact, these look like something that has dropped off a leper. Um, they can't possibly taste as bad as they look. Oh god, they're rock hard. That's not a good start for gummy stuff. Mm. Mm. I don't know if this is just a reaction to the eggs and things from earlier. I'm actually quite enjoying that. <laughs> it's just a sort of slightly hard, sugary, gummy candy. It just looks absolutely fucking abhorrent. The sort of thing, if you were to accidentally vomit up one day, you would be down the hospital quicker than a cheetah on steroids. The camera doesn't seem to want to focus on it. I can't say I blame it. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it had focused. <laughs> it just looks so sort of um, blurred out that I didn't realise in the viewfinder. Well... That's a thing. And I've only got one more thing that somebody sent me for the foreign food stuff. A couple of lumps of jaggery. I actually know what jaggery is, it's just basically sugar. It's just a sort of something they do with sugar to transport it. So I'm not going to bother eating it because it's just sugar. But I just enjoyed, I did enjoy the um, name of the company that's produced it. Double horse. Not just one horse, two horses. Maybe they're conjoined horses, who knows. But they've had 50 years of good food at good old Double Horse, and it's 100% vegetarian, including the packaging. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, this isn't something you'd sort of eat raw, it's something you'd generally put in uh, a recipe for other foodstuffs. And it's very sweet, because it is basically just sugar. Does it tell you? Product of India, yeah, we'd guess that. Um, packed for God's Own Country, UK Limited. Westcombe Avenue, Croydon. Croydon is God's own country. There we are, you heard it here first. This is best before 2013. I should be able to keep that and use it for something. And my favourite part, though, by far, is ingredient. Jaggery. Well, that's cleared that one up then. Oh, blimey. Well, I think that will do on the nasty foodstuffs for a while, because I don't think we'll ever beat it. At least I haven't had any more of those bloody horrible hunger breaks microwave things. Oh, wait. They're doing other ones. No, not today. I can only take so much. Tune into the Extras channel in a week or two if you want to see that one. But I shall leave you today with the glorious image of a black rotten egg made to look like a Scotch egg. Well, probably not on purpose. It's just one of those things. There we are. You think it's bad at home, just be pleased you can't smell it. It smells like a damp dog that's been set on fire, allowed to rot for a bit, and then it ate one of these. <laughs>